Hello and welcome to our sixth episode in this YouTube tutorial series, Being Effective with Upnote. Uh, in this series, we're going through all of the basics of how to use this amazing notes application, Upnote. It's my notes application of choice for a lot of reasons. Now, I've got a video review coming up later in this series showcasing all of the reasons why uh, I love this app and why I've chosen this app over all of the other different note-taking applications available. But I wanted to say today that for me, the four key things that you're gonna need for any note-taking application, uh, you're gonna need to be able to collect information, you're gonna need to be able to edit and format that information well, uh, <coughs> you're gonna be able to need to organize your notes, and then you're gonna be able to need to be able to retrieve them again when when you need them in the future. So in the second episode, I looked at some of the main aspects of organizing, the basics of organizing notes in UpNote. Today, we're looking at this, links and backlinks, uh, and the features available here within UpNote. And because this involves uh, a feature called the information panel, I'll show you that as well. So let's start by talking about links here. This is my demo account, so there's a lot fewer notes in here than there would be in my main account, but I can still show you everything that you need to know. Firstly, I'm gonna to talk to you about filter links. Now, in um, the last episode, I mentioned these sort of filters or saved searches. One of the things that you can do in UpNote is you can actually uh, copy a link to those just by pressing this little button here and selecting it in the menu and then you can paste that link uh, into a note and whenever you click that it will take you to that saved search with all of those uh, relevant notes for that. Uh, you can do that with all of them as well, uh, all of these different filters. The other thing you can do is, as I showed you in a previous, in the, the last episode, is if you wanted to do a search, for example, for any notes that contain the tag upnote and contain the tag click up. The reason why I might want to do this is because uh, I'm currently trialing a new uh, app setup, which stupidly I've decided to call uh, click up note. Um, using ClickUp and UpNote together. Um, so you might want to use that. You can save that as a search and it comes up up here and then you can actually copy a link to that saved search and if you get rid of that you can then paste that link into the note and then if you click on that it'll just perform that saved search. Now obviously this note shows up in that search now because it's got that saved search in it, which is a really, really cool feature uh, if you want to put searches that you've got saved in notes. One thing I will say is if you delete that search, then this link no longer works. So just bear that in mind. Um, so I'll get rid of that. The next thing that you can do uh, is you can actually create links to notebooks. Um, now I love this uh, compared to Evernote, for example, where you can only create links to specific notes. Many note-taking applications allow you to make links to notebooks. So uh, if I wanted to, for example, create a link to this project here, this project notebook, just select that option in the menu, click copy link, and there you go. Uh, similarly, any other notebook that I want to copy the link to, I can put that in as well. Um, and then if I click that, it would just take me to that notebook. Uh, I, again, I think that's a really, really uh, helpful feature there. Next up is linking to notes. Now, obviously, there are a few ways you can do this. Uh, you can do a single a link to a single note. So for example, if I went into uh, this notebook here, I could say, well, actually, I want to uh, create a link to this note here. So you can right click on it 
and then you can select copy link to note and then you can paste that in. The other way you can do it, which is far easier, is by using the double square brackets. So if you type in double square brackets, it'll bring up a list of all of the notes that you've got within UpNote. Uh, and then as you start typing, it'll filter that list based on your words uh, that you're typing, and then you can select it and put it in there. Another thing that you can do with note links is you can copy links to multiple notes at once. So I'll go back into this one here and that note's already selected but if I select all four of the notes and click copy links then I can go back into here and it will paste all four of those links all in together. Now this is really useful if say for example um, you had a project which had more than three notes in it and you wanted to sort of keep track of everything you could say for example select all of the notes copy them and then you could create a contents uh, you could create a, a like a table of contents for your um, for your project so that you've got a list of all of the notes in that project in your main project note uh, I find that useful uh, in in many ways. Uh, some of these I'll discuss in next week's video. I think it's next week's video. Or it might be the one after that. Uh, but there you go. I did want to show you backlinks. Now, the way backlinks work, if I go to this one here, um, it's in the information panel, which I'll talk about more in just a moment. But um, in the information panel you have this little section here links to this note and that is where you will find a list of any notes that link to the particular note that you're working on and if you click them it will take you to that note there I'll get rid of that now for, for the time being as I said this linking feature is really really useful in creating dashboards. Um, I'll ex explain this in the upcoming video but for example I've got a reading list where it lists all the books that I'm currently reading and the sort of the name of the book is actually a link to a note or a notebook where I've got all of my notes on that book um, and you can do lots of other things like that but there is one thing I wanted to show you that involves going to another application. Now before the whole sort of using ClickUp and UpNote together. Uh, I was using a combination of Notion, UpNote and Todoist in a system that didn't have a name. But if it did, it would be something like UpNotionUist. No, it didn't have a name. Um, but one of the things that I used to do is I would copy the links to the notebooks in UpNote and I would paste them into a text column uh, within Notion, as you can see that here. Obviously it looks a bit silly, it's just the link. And if you select all of those and then try and paste them into Notion, it just pastes them as strange, strange text uh, that doesn't really do anything. And obviously, I don't know if you've ever realized this, but one of the things that Notion cannot do or will not do uh, is allow you to link to other apps. It it won't it won't do it. It doesn't recognise it as a link. Anyway, that's a side point. Um, but what I can do is I can, if say for example, I was organising my projects um, based on status and these were the five projects that I wanted to focus on this week. I could select all of those links, uh, just the plain text there from Notion, and then I could come into UpNote, and if I had like a Command Hub dashboard, which I do, um, and I wanted a list in that dashboard, this is in my main account, of the projects that I was focusing on that particular week, uh, 
can just paste those links direct from Notion and Upnote will recognize that these are links to notebooks within Upnote and these links are all clickable. Um, so that is a great way of using Upnote, combining it with another application if you want to use that other application uh, for planning and organizing and things like that. Uh, lastly, I wanted to show you a few more things about the information panel. Um, I will get rid of the sidebar for this uh, and minimize that so you've got a bit more space. So the information panel is down here. You can either click that button or you can press the shortcut command if you're on a Mac or control if you're on Windows shift and I that will bring up the information panel and these are the five different things that it will tell you so you've got information which is when the note was created and when it was last updated and you can actually edit the created date if you would like to next up you've got word count uh, characters uh, the words the words in the note, sentences and paragraphs, that can be helpful information, particularly if you're writing something, longer form content within Upnote. It will also list all of the tags in the note, and if you click those, uh, it will take you in your note list to a list of all notes that contain those particular tags. Uh, as I said, you've got your backlinks, notes that link to this note, and then you've got a table of contents. Uh, I do find this helpful sometimes. Um, your table of contents just lists all of the headings, whether it's heading one, heading two, heading three. Uh, and you can click any heading and it will take you to it and do this little wibbly thing. Um, I don't really know what to call that, so you know where you are. And that's just really useful to help you navigate notes if you've got a particularly long note. Um, with an upnote. So there you go, you've got your linking and backlinking and you've got the information panel, two of the great features that there are within this app for helping you organize things and find things. Um, please do like this video, it really helps me if you click that like button which should be appearing now and uh, please do subscribe to my channel, there's lots more videos to come. I'd also love it if you could leave a comment with anything that you'd like me to cover about Upnote in a future video or anything questions you've got. I'm happy to, to take suggestions as to, as to what we cover. There should be two more videos showing up on the screen right around now. Um, these are two videos from earlier in the series that focus on other aspects about organizing your notes. So please do check those out. And I will see you on the next video.